It was nice to see so many of you for the holidays as we welcomed 5783. I was pleased to learn that we had nearly 500 households streaming services. I must thank Rabbi Siegel and our clergy team for creating such a meaningful hog, along with Zach Dunn and our administrative staff for carefully planning the details. As Rabbi Siegel mentioned during the hog, we are excited to kick off our high connect circles and pleased to offer different circles of friendship based on the many hobbies and interests of our members. The response has been great to see, so please be sure you sign up if you haven't already done so. It is a reality that to create all the meaningful work and programs of the congregation, adequate funds are needed. We are grateful to all of you who responded to our call to support the Shalom Center, to support our fellow congregants through our new Lev Belev Fund, and underwriting elements of our High Holy Day observances. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't remind you also that it's never too late to donate, and I certainly hope you'll consider doing so. Rabbi Siegel has been working tirelessly to meet as many of you as possible through all the meet and greets. We will now have the unique opportunity to celebrate her leadership and our congregation when she is installed as our senior rabbi the weekend of January 6. Many of us have not had the opportunity to attend an installation before, and I can promise you an enlightening weekend of learning opportunities, friendship, and a celebration of our community. Rabbi Siegel's mentor, Rabbi Amy Perlin, will be conducting the installation and has been noted by the forward to be one of the America's most inspiring rabbis. Please book the weekend of January 6th through 8th and bring your friends for an inspiring weekend of learning together. Rabbi Siegel will be entering into a Brit, a covenant with us, and let's honor her and our temple as we celebrate this joyous partnership and occasion. Thank you to Debbie Berkowitz and the Transition Committee for working on this special weekend. Under the leadership of Sharon Lewis, Jeannie Duncan, and Alan Zajcik, we are creating our future plan called the Framework for the Future, which will serve as our roadmap for the years to come. This plan will be a long-term plan outlining our financial and strategic needs that allow us to live within our means, grow our community, and plan accordingly. We are committed to continuing to be transparent and creating a roadmap to demonstrate our sustainability for years to come. This plan will have three key areas of focus. One, rabbinic transition welcoming and integrating our senior rabbi and aligning our spiritual and business leadership directions. Two, physical transition, finding our new home, planning our move, saying goodbye to our well-loved current campus, moving to our new home, and establishing our roots there. And three, financial transition towards a sustainable, responsible, reasonable fiscal model that provides us for our needs today and ensures we achieve our vision for future generations. All the work underway to design our plan is critical and you can be involved by staying informed and participating in community events. Much of what we learned from the listening sessions and visioning meetings will be incorporated into the framework. This will be a fluid and dynamic roadmap and reflect what you shared with us as we began this journey. I thank you for your confidence and patience while we continue our search for our new home. I know we all would like this process to move more quickly. Please know that our broker is identifying as many opportunities as possible and we are keeping a very close eye on the timeline and we are mindful that the 1st of December marks one year since the sale of our building. In preparation for our new home, I hope to see many of you on November 1, as our architect, Eddie Jones, and his team will be listening to the congregation to get a better idea of our dreams and our hopes. Please plan on joining us at 7 p.m. for some refreshments and sweets before we, we begin the program. Before I close, I must remind you of the concert on October 29th. Carol and Alan Zajcik have graciously underwritten the bluegrass group called Nefesh Mountain, which has taken their inspiration from the Appalachians to Eastern Europe. Consider treating your friends to a fun night. Please go online to get your tickets. In closing, I can't help but remind you that it's each one of you that makes Temple High so special. Please consider bringing your friends and family to our events so they can feel the Temple High Ruach or spirit. 
We are truly fortunate to be part of such a caring and giving community. Thank you.